My third instructional tutorial is a Wonderopolis. Wonderopolis is a website that I found on our school internet page that I didn't know uh, what it was, so I went exploring it for this project. It has videos on higher level thinking topics. Um, why I selected this particular resource was um, we have MTSS groups, as I'm sure many other school districts do. And during it, we have our enrichment groups. I think this website would be wonderful for the students to watch and possibly create their own um, Wonderopolis videos to submit or send in topics for the Wonderopolis crew to create a video on. It covers topics that you can hardly think of and wonder. Um, they're just really random topics, but they're great little ways to watch and uh, gain a broader spectrum knowledge over more than just what is taught in the classroom. The purpose or the goal again was for the MTSS groups or even for your gifted and um, students who get bored in class. You can send them here and have them create their own Wonderopolis video based on topics that you are doing in your classroom. My intended audience would be um, the students. I'm just getting them to think outside the box, to think beyond um, their math lesson, think beyond their science lesson or social studies lesson, and to really um, go into topics that aren't necessarily explored in depth within the classroom. The two standards that are covered by this website would be standard 2C, which is customize and personalize learning activities to address students' diverse learning styles, working strategies, and abilities using digital tools and resources. Um, I'm really well versed in a lot of resources for my uh, low cognitive students. However, to reach the other end of the spectrum, this is a really great website. The other standard that it covers is 1B for the teachers, which is engage students in exploring real world issues and solving authentic problems using digital tools and resources. Like I said, this website is on the classroom topics that we don't always get to explore because of time and budgets. So let's look at the website. And here you can see um, today's Wonderopolis topic is where do the silver owls live? Um, not a topic that would get to be covered within the classroom all the time, but you may have students who are really big owl lovers and they might want to watch and find out. Um, Wonderopolis, where do the owls live? Come with short little videos that you can watch along with a um, article about them that gives you more um, information on them and allows you to both see information visually through the video and also read information through an article. So here's the owl video. As you can see, it goes into and shows the owl itself and should have some narration to it. My um, volume is not apparently up right now. Let's pause that, see if I can fix that problem for us. But you can go and explore more than just wonder of today. You can go into um, explore wonders on the side here and see um, some of the other videos. Um, why are cats tongues rough? What started the great Chicago fire? Do birds talk when they squawk? All sorts of different topics as you can sort through here. How can math help you cook? Um, how many times does your heart beat in a lifetime? Just different topics of things people have wondered. And like I said, you can also submit what you are wondering topics to them. And they can um, then put it up for a vote and see if it's something they might research. So this is just really a great website for um, 
those students who need to use higher order thinking skills or a great way to um, give the students a break from the everyday academics and allow them to um, have a chance to think of something outside the box.